Beethoven was a thoroughly modern composer. He was a pusher of boundaries, a tireless innovator, full of ingenuity. His last works in particular seem to bridge new territories, exploring the farthermost reaches of space as well as the deepest secrets of the human soul. And nowhere is it as apparent for us pianists as in his last sonata, number 32. What do you think of this passage taken from the second movement? It's been called proto-jazz, ragtime, and believe it or not, boogie-woogie. And if you take the music at face value, there is something to it. Those wacky, unhinged rhythms could have a place in the 20th century. But I think that this misses the core of the music. This movement is a theme with variations, of which this one is the third. The theme, if we jump back straight to it, seems very, very far away. There is serenity here, tranquility, a singing melody above a very deep bass, all moving together like a steady beat of a heart or a flow of a very slow river. The first variation adds a bit more life to it. as if the scene, which previously was hushed and expectant, is now gradually coming to life. The second variation brings even more flow. And then comes our boogie-woogie variation. If we take it together with the rest as a progression, I think there is a clear connection between the four and it lies in the rhythm of the theme. During the same time, the second variation will have not three but six notes. And the third variation, twelve. Both under the six and under the twelve, the pulse of the three beats. And seen like this, I think the boogie wooginess disappears. You try to unite all those notes into a larger line and they stop mattering at individual units. Also, the rhythms become softer, less jagged. It might be cool to think that Beethoven envisioned jazz a hundred years before its birth. But I think it's just as cool to see him as the master architect he was, carefully plotting the development and leading the listener further and further along the path which lay for us. And those three variations were just the first step on the transforming journey, which is this movement.